Hey, welcome back, folks. Just pouring myself a whiskey, trying to make this merry Christmas just a little merrier. You know... What? I feel sick. Sick how? You didn't puke in the green room, did you? Okay, because you still you want to be an actor when you grow up? Well, kind of. Yeah, well, if you puke on this set or in the green room or any place in the studio and Comedy Central finds out about it, you won't be able to get a job in show business. You'll besmirch your reputation, end up driving a truck just like your deadbeat dad. Here, drink that. What is it? Never mind what it is. Just drink it. It's good for you. <laughs> Hurry up. i got a show to do here. All right. I'll go back in the green room. I'll see you later. I feel drunk. <sighs> Welcome to the family. <laughs> Come here. Follow me. And now it's time for that classic old chestnut, When I Was a Kid. Here's your host, Dennis Leary. You know, one time when I was a kid, a nun told me that anyone who was born in the United States could become the president. So I went home and I said to my dad, Dad, hey, is it true that anybody who's born here in America can become the president? And he said, yeah, that's true. It's the law. And I said, does that mean that I can become the president of the United States? And he turned to me and he said, and I'll never forget this, he said, no. <laughs> our parents all smoked, our mothers smoked and drank while they were pregnant. Teachers could kick the shit out of you, there were no seat belts. We'd have eight or nine kids bouncing around inside cars that were made out of real steel. And if you fell out one of the windows while we were driving down the highway, hell, it was just more food for all the other kids, okay? <laughs> you got one big toy at Christmas, and if your parents did their job, it was usually something very dangerous, okay? Guns, knives, toys with tons of tiny parts you and your sister could choke on, stuff that caught on fire, it was great. Here. This is a BB gun, okay? They don't want to give these to kids anymore, okay? Because too many kids get shot in the eye on Christmas morning, all right? Well, watch this. Give me a kid. Hey, kid, stay right there, right there. Nice job, kid. See, the kids who lose an eye when you shoot BBs at them, they're stupid, okay? Too dumb to duck. They don't deserve to have eyeballs, all right? Give me another kid. Now. This is an electric football game. They don't really make them anymore, okay? You turn it on, all these guys would vibrate and run around the field. Now, my cousin Eddie swallowed a running back, I think it was Larry Zonka, and choked to death one Christmas morning. <laughs> Last time we saw Eddie or the game. Hey, eat this. No way. Good girl. See? It's called thinning the herd, folks. <laughs> this kid's a keeper. <laughs> all right, give me another kid, all right? This next toy is basically an oven, okay? This baby would heat up to about 250 degrees Kelvin. You could bake pottery in this thing, all right? Come here. Stick your hand inside there. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Folks, here's my point, okay? These aren't just toys. They are tools of education, okay? You can bet that kid's not going to put his hand in an oven again, okay? And if he does, get rid of him, all right? I don't have anything against dumbass kids, just the dumbass adults they grow up to be, all right? Christ, these toys should be in every kindergarten class across the country, all right? <laughs> the Stanford Binet test, all right? Plug in the creepy crawler oven. This has been another helpful episode of When I Was a Kid.